right, guys, we're back again for another pickups video. You guys are ready to see some more games. I got some packages over here, and I'm not even going to waste no more time. We're going to get right to it. Let's go to this first one. You got to be a little careful with these packages. You don't want to damage what's inside. So let me take a read over here. This is coming from V2P. Let's see what we got over here. I had that in mind, so we're gonna get right to it. First game. <laughs> yes, these are my guys right here. By way forward, River City Girls Zero. So this game I have not tried yet. I really wanted to get these games on PS4, but I missed out on them. So I was like, hey, they got re-released on the PS5, why not? But this game, I have not tried, but I'm a big fan of this genre. I know these games are like beat em up style with RPG elements. Can't wait to try these games. This is River City Girls Zero. I think this game is more like a, yeah. This game has like a very retro style look to it. So this one, honestly, I didn't even know that until I bought the game and I checked it out. And I was like, oh, this game is more like retro look to it. It's still, you know, part of the series I wanted to complete. So River City Girls Zero on the PS5. Next. There we go. To complete the set. This is River City Girls 2 by Way Forward. So again, this game is beat em up style with the RPG elements in there. And um, you play as these two girls there. Yeah, I think you could pick some guys in here too, but you, you earn like experience and you level up. And this game gets really addictive after a while. But yeah, I've seen a lot of gameplay. I haven't tried it yet. Um, just started the first game. So once I get through the first, I'm definitely going to jump on this one. And again, this game, I wanted to get it on the PS4, but I couldn't pass up on it. So it was like, I think these were like $59.99 Canadian. So it came out, I'm not sure how much, but I'll put it on the screen. But I definitely saved on these games because right now, on the PS4, these games on eBay go for like 70 bucks, some 60, 70 bucks. If you're lucky, if you get it cheaper than that. But yeah, I wanted to get these games. Big fan of Way Forward. And I'm glad I got this. Open it right here. And let's put it to the side. This game sold out when I first went to the website and started looking. I was like, oh man, why did this sell out? I want this so bad. I always see this game so expensive but i was like i have to get this game it's about 80 bucks on ebay but they had it that game is a double pack <laughs> it's the endless night collection of persona 3 dancing in moonlight and persona 5 dancing in starlight and it also includes a digital version of persona 4 dancing all night so the physical version of that game is only available on the PlayStation Vita. I was like, damn, I wanted to get the rest of these games. And like I said, every time that I would see this game will be either too expensive or it will be already sold out. And when I saw that they restocked on this, I was like, oh my God, I was able to get this game. And of course it sold out right after I purchased this. So I was like, thank God I got this. So here it is, big fan of Persona and I love these developers, these guys, that all the games they made, Catherine, the art style is so awesome, and I'm glad I got this. The Endless Night Collection, Persona, Dancing All Night. We got here from Amazon, we got, ooh, big fan of these games. We got Cotton Fantasy. Is this the, like the reboot? No, yeah, this is like the one so this one has like the newer looking graphics. It's not like the the reboot one. And these games are awesome, man. Like they're so much fun. You just, you shoot everything on the screen. Everything pops, so many colors. But if you never play the Cotton series, uh, this game, uh, these games are fun. They're addictive. Cotton Fantasy on the Nintendo Switch. From Amazon, we got we got <laughs> all right guys here we go again don't judge me this is the sequel gal gun 2 so gal gun returns is a remake 
from what I heard, is a remake of Gal Gun Double Piece, which came out on the Vita, and it did get re-released on the Switch. But this is the sequel, Gal Gun 2, again by Indie Creates. And I saw this on Amazon. It's the Peggy version, but they had it for like 20 bucks. I was like, what? They it had it for like $24.99 at one point. The American version is it goes for like over 30 bucks. I didn't know about that, but I was like, hey, why not? Let me try this game. I want to I want to see how they are. And I ordered I actually ordered this one before I got the one for the Switch. But this one came from overseas and it took a while to get here. But of course. It was the guy, you know, banged up because you hear the dreaded floppy disk around there and I can't stand it. So eventually I'm going to open this up. Like I said, I'm a big fan of Inti Create. This is like an on-rail shooter. you shooting girls with the pheromones and <laughs> this game is ridiculous, but it looks like it's a lot of fun. Like it just makes you laugh. And, but I can't wait to check them out. And you should too if you're a fan of Inti Creates. But Gal Gun 2 on the PS4, check it out. I have the original on PS4, but they released the complete edition, which they always do. I knew that for the Switch, this game was gonna be the one to get because everybody was gonna go for it on the Switch. It was removed from the shipping option. And I was like, uh oh, this game is gonna sell out pretty soon. So it was only available for pickup. So I had to go to Best Buy and pick it up. And that game is, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, the Anniversary Edition. This game, it brings back so much nostalgia. Like me playing these old school games. I remember being a kid, like literally like 1991, 1992, going into an ice cream shop that I used to go to with my cousin and my brother and seeing the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade machine. And this thing blew my mind. The graphics of it, it looked like you was playing the cartoon for real. But this game is such an homage to that to that style, to that feel. It has the four player co-op beat em up, but this one has extra levels, I believe, but it, it has extra characters. And it ha I'm pretty sure it has more. I know the game has more levels and, and more characters and more fun, <laughs> but I can't wait to play this game, but I don't know. Like I said, these beat em ups, shoot em ups on the Switch are like, gonna be the games to get. Like, this game sold out immediately. And I'm so glad that I got it. I went and I picked it up and I'm not regretting it. Shredder's Revenge, get your hands on this one right here, folks. So this has been another episode of Will Beats Games Presents Pickups for this week. These are just a bunch of games that I've been waiting to receive and um, games that I've just been trying to get my hands on and I'm glad that I did. I've been working on some videos and I got more pickups coming, some more unboxings, more collection. I hope you guys stay tuned because before you know it, I'm going to start showing other things that I have. And um, I would love to show some of my, um, I have a, a big movie collection. I have some DVDs, some Blu-rays, and I also have like a huge Funko Pop Dragon Ball Z collection that I would like to show you guys. So let me know what you guys want to see next. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know. And I'll see you guys.